This is Share the Vision, presented by the Resource Center. A discussion of the programs and services of the Resource Center and about issues related to individuals with disabilities. Today, it's the Toys for Tots wrap-up show. I am here with Steve Watterson, Community Relations Director at the Resource Center at Toy Central at Allied Alarm at the end of Allen Street, just outside Falconer. And it is Friday the 16th as we speak to you, Friday afternoon. Hello, Steve. Hi, Dennis. How are you? And I hope people can hear the kind of charged-up sound of my voice here because this place is really humming right now. Yeah, we are uh, at the point where representatives from local uh, human service organizations are stopping down to pick up toys for the families that are on their list. And they think they just started doing this about 20 minutes ago, so there's... Boy, what would you say, Dennis? 40 people in here uh, going around the room picking out uh, toys to uh, make the holidays wonderful and, and happy for the children on their list, and it's just going to stay busy like this the rest of the day. Two very important people. Steve will be on again in a few minutes, but two very important people to Toys for Tots are on either side of me right now. Heather Brown, one of the coordinators for Toys for Tots from the Resource Center. Mike Roberts. His facility here at Allied Alarm is uh, where Toy Central is. So both of you just ride with me for a minute here. I know you're both very busy in this crowded and um, animated environment right now. But, Heather, first, some very important things to find out for our audience. How have the toy contributions gone this year? They've been going very good. We had a couple little blips with some of the weather, so we were a little nervous. But the last two days, things have been coming in very well. So do you have what you usually have, what you need? I mean, uh, uh, what's your feeling right now? My feeling is we're a little bit light, but we're hoping that we have a lot of boxes coming in today and hopefully tomorrow morning. And there's a few sites still left over the weekend. The need, the other side of your equation that we talk about all the time, because this is the Marine Corps Reserve's Toys for Tots, and every year you attempt to balance what is contributed from the community and some from Toys for Tots itself, match that to whatever the need is. What's your anticipation of how many children will be served, um, what the totals will look like this year on that side, Heather? It looks like we're on par for about the same as last year. As of today, we have about 2,200 children, and then we will be accepting late applications, as we always do, on Sunday afternoon and on Monday. And if the trend holds true, we will also see about another 100 or 200 families, so another four or 500 children come to us in the last few days. So So, so that would bring it to last year's number? About 2,600, so that's that's what we're thinking in our crystal ball as of Friday. Now, Mike Roberts is here. I'm going to share the microphone with him and with you because we're at Toy Central, but this is not exactly the same Toy Central where we recorded the preview show a little while ago. We keep things moving. (laughs) Well, we had some space open up, and it gave us an opportunity to put them on the first floor instead of the second floor, and I think it's working out a little bit better, and it's just amazing to see the people, the toys, all the action that's going on. It's really overwhelming. Well, and this is a huge space, for one thing, and it is warm. Except when they open the garage doors, which are very convenient when the Santa sleighs or the pickup trucks that... But that uh, means toys are coming in, so we like it when the big doors open. And, and I'll tell you, I have watched this happen over the 17 years that uh, Toys for Tots has been going on, and uh, Heather Brown and Terry Johnson have coordinated it, and this has got to be the nicest delivery situation you have ever had. This really, really is good. Yeah, we're thanking our lucky stars for Mike Roberts right now. And, uh, Mike, I know from previous broadcasts, even earlier this year, how much meaning this has for you to be able to provide a space where this can happen. Well, it's exciting to see this community pull together. 2,200 kids will have a Christmas this year. Get to see it, doesn't it? It does, you know. To see the community pull together, to see the hard work of, of all of the people in this room, Heather and Terry are amazing people. And uh, what a blessing. It's great to be part of. Now, aside from Mike and the people here at Allied, are there others that come to mind right away that we should make sure get recognized on this wrap-up program in terms of uh, what they have done to help you organize, to help you collect toys? Are there any 
groups, organizations, individuals we should mention right now, Heather? You know, it's hard to really name names. We'll make sure we do all of our public thank yous. We had over 80 barrel sites. We had so many community groups and organizations where we picked up toys, whether it was the Lakewood Rod and Gun, the Stell Christmas Party, just a lot of the schools. Terry's been out to a couple schools this week, despite the snow days that they've had. Just been really amazing. You know, all of our family, our friends, our coworkers, even Mike's staff, they get semis and they come over here and unload it so terry and i don't have to leave our day job to come down and unload a semi you know i would just like to comment (laughs) and maybe have either of you speak to this but we are in a room full of adults steve mentioned 40 or so people in this room right now there may be one or two children in here but the rest are all the adults it's kind of fun to watch 40 (laughs) adults in the equivalent of uh santa's workshop looking at toys. I mean, this is just kind of fun to observe. I I just took a couple of pictures to preserve the moment. I really did. It's amazing. And to see the enthusiasm in which they work, a real blessing. Adults like toys, too. (laughs) They do. They do. And this group that's here this afternoon, these are all other local community organizations that we work with, like JCLC, Department of Social Services. I see people from LDA. I see people from Aspire, obviously Resource Center case managers. And they know the families that they work with well. So they're here, you know, picking that extra special toy. We actually have some of the organizations that brought some of the family members with them and are assisting them in selecting their own toys for their own children. So today, I'm kind of grinning ear to ear. I was stressed until about 10 of, but you can't get rid of the smile at this point. It's a wonderful thing. Terry Johnson is right here. I'm going to try and get her for a moment, and then maybe we can meet some of the people who are in the room. Terry Johnson, the other coordinator for the Marine Corps Reserves Toys for Tots for the Resource Center in Chautauqua County. Got a little bit of an update uh, from uh, Heather and Mike a moment ago, and Steve started the show, but how are you feeling about the... uh, drive the campaign this year terry in terms of numbers in terms of your emotion give us the whole story (laughs) the bright smile yeah well you know this is always that anxious time for us we see the people are starting to come in and filling bags these are case managers for the families that they support and something we just started doing the last couple of years um, so that they can fill for the families that they know we've got our stack for tomorrow ready to go to start filling the rest of the orders. We were here the other night, and I know Heather and I both were a little bit nervous in a couple of areas, not sure that we had enough, so we've been trying to reach out. We've gotten a lot of calls the last couple of days. Is there any needed areas? And it's the typical babies and teens. And so things seem to be coming in. Today we're expecting to get most of those barrel sites coming back in, so hopefully we'll see more toys coming in in the next couple hours. As the listeners should know, we are speaking on Friday at Allied Alarm, Mike Roberts' place here on Allen Street. So the distribution will be happening Saturday and Sunday? Uh, Bagging happens on Saturday, and then distribution is on Sunday and Monday. And I just want to ask you, before you have to get real busy again at the desk here, because you're welcoming people in moment to moment here, Anybody in particular, groups, organizations, individuals, that you want to make sure we say thank you to uh, as we do this program today, Terry? Well, obviously, I'm sure it's already been mentioned, but Allied Alarm, again, they have done so much for us and are very modest about the help and support that they provide to us each year. We've had a lot of good connections with schools this year. Heather mentioned that. You'd been at a couple of schools this week. Yes, Falconer Schools, Temple School in Kennedy and Bemis Point Elementary School all did something special for us this year, bringing in either a substantial amount of money or toys. So that has been really, really good. Dollar General on 2nd Street has been amazing. The person that adopted that box has been here every week bringing toys and storing up the bags until we are open to accept them. At one point she had 10 bags of toys in her garage until we could take them from her. So it's been just overwhelming and great that some of the businesses are, are really supporting a lot of holiday parties that we've been called to the last couple of weeks to go accept toys. Stell had a holiday party that they've had to cancel three weeks in a row because of the weather. And so all of the individuals that go to the Stell holiday party that receive the supports from Stell 
bought a toy, so they went around and collected them from all over the county and brought them to us at our office this week because their Christmas party is going to now be next week after our distribution. So they went out of their way to still get the toys and bring them to us, which I thought was very wonderful. Someone's looking for you, but one other thing you mentioned, and and Heather uh, alluded also to last-minute registrations, as this is broadcast Saturday, is there still an opportunity for someone to sign up for or to ask for Toys for Tots for their children? Absolutely. It's all obviously going to be dependent on what is remaining when we finish, but we hope to have enough of a supply to meet those last minute demands. So people can come down on Sunday from 12 to 2 and bring their identification for themselves and their kids and proof of income, and we will do our best to fill the order right there on the spot. Terry Johnson, thank you very much. Going to let you get back to work. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Here at Toy Central now, I want to introduce someone who's very familiar with the process here and helping young children at this time of the year. What is your name? Tara Nikevich. Tara, say your last name again? Nikevich. Nikevich? Yep. With an N? Yes. Okay, Tara Nikevich. What is your line of work? What is your job? I am a Medicaid service coordinator for the Resource Center. What does that mean? Linkage and referral for families, so helping out and getting them as much as possible, especially here with Toys for Tots. Now, Tara, you've been shopping yourself here today. Tell me a little bit about what you've been doing here. Just collecting toys for families who are just a little bit more in need based upon their interests. So going around and checking out what we have here, so I'm just looking at seeing what they have and grabbing whatever might be helpful or interesting to the kids. Now, Tara... Do you know the children that you're choosing for? The kids directly on my caseload, yes, but their sisters and brothers, maybe not so much. So you have some feel for the ages and what their interests might be? Yes. So do you have children of your own? I do. How old are they? He is seven months. You have Oh, you oh, Just wow. one, so he's literally little. <laughs> First Christmas coming. Yeah. Well, fun for you. Yeah. Now, what's it like to go shopping in this toy land here and choose toys for young children? It's really fun. It's really fun, and it's super fulfilling, so it's really good. What do you hear from the families in terms of the value of this Toys for Tots effort for them, Tara? Really, it's invaluable. Just a lot of thanks. They're really appreciative of what this affords for their family, especially at this time of year. Do you suspect that there would be much Christmas at all if it were not for what you are doing here today for these families? Maybe not for some families. Wow. I mean, that's hard to... uh hard to think about uh, Mm -hmm. that a child would have no gifts at Christmas time. So, I mean, maybe a little bit here and there, but this definitely gives them a little bit more. The work that you do at Christmas throughout the year must be very challenging and very fulfilling simultaneously. It is. It definitely is. You have contact with a part of the community that many of us know are there, but we don't, are not intimately aware of. So, Tara, just speak to this point for a moment. There are challenges out there that maybe those of us who have regular jobs and regular incomes aren't aware of? Right. Specifically the challenges that they would face? I mean, I guess, if anything, everybody just wants to be treated the same, and acceptance, I think, is that big challenge. Many of the people you work with are not employed or underemployed? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so life is a struggle. It is. I mean, anything that you and I are going through, they're going through. So it's literally, it's the same thing. We're just taking different steps to get to the same spots in life. That's all. Thank you very much for what you are doing. How many children will you choose for altogether here today? Oh, my gosh. uh, Probably around 12. Oh, really? Yeah. So have a lot of fun. (laughs) Thanks. Tara, I enjoyed speaking with you. Merry Christmas. You too. And enjoy your son or daughter? Son. My son. 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 What's his name? Soren. A little different, so Soren. (laughs) First Christmas for Soren. Have a wonderful time. Thanks. We've moved to another part of Toy Central, and I must say, radio listener, to be here on the Friday afternoon before broadcast, if you can, thinking of old black and white films where they would shoot in the department store in the toy department just before Christmas and everybody's milling around and buying things, Macy's or Gimbel's, you know, that, uh, uh, something like that. This is just like that today, except with a completely different purpose I have another guest with me right now. Hello. Hi, I'm Debbie Yan, and I'm with uh, PACT and UPK Preschool Programs at Love School. So this is from the Jamestown Public Schools. Jamestown Public Schools, and I'm also with Jamestown Community Learning Council. Now, your first name again? Debbie. Debbie. Now, I understand you have brought some other people with you here today? Yes, I have. I have parents from our school that have children at Love School and also some ENL parent 
that come to English classes at Love School, they've come to volunteer to help us to um, pack up the gifts for the families at Love School. So, Debbie, talk to me about what's happening with the people you have brought here today in terms of the business that they are about finding toys and what it means to them, because it sounds like you are in direct contact with some of the families and the young people who will benefit from this effort this year. Yes, I am, and it is very exciting, and as you said, it gets that feeling of Macy's and that shopping, and when you walk in here, you get such a great sensation. It just gives me the chills. The families that are helping today, a mom just told me that she feels like she's one of Santa's elves. And it's making her feel good to come out and she's helping our community. So it's very exciting and the parents are very involved and they want to give back to the community and help with other families. The young people who will be receiving the toys that are being selected and lined bagged and lined up here right now are truly in need. Talk to me about those families, those young people, and Christmas with Toys for Tots and Christmas if there were no Toys for Tots. It's a very key component in our community giving uh, Toys for Tots. I've had parents, they reach out to me and to other members of our organization because they're looking to um, give their child a, a gift for Christmas. So it's very meaningful for the children to be able to have a few extra gifts under their Christmas tree. Wow. And tell me about the work you do aside from this uh, Toys for Tots and your particular effort today. Just describe your work a a, a little more for me, Debbie. Okay. I am a parent educator. I am employed by Jamestown Community Learning Council, and my work site is at Love School. And I work with directly with the UPK preschool teachers there, and we um, work with educating our families to work with their children because we feel that the parents are the best teacher for their child. So if we can show the parents how to teach their child, and education is changing, that we can show them how to work with them at home, this is the key to the child's success when we have the parents working with the children. What age of children do you and your staff members work with? I work directly with the three and four year old children and thus other parents but also the staff members, there's other staff members here, they work with children all throughout the entire Jamestown district all the way up through uh, middle school. What are the challenges for families today just off the top of your head, uh, Debbie, in terms of what you account- encounter on a day-to-day basis, basis, Christmas aside. Many parents don't have transportation. They walk their children to school, they drop them off, and then they come back, they walk back and pick them up. And I find in this cold weather, um, that's a big challenge for families, but they do it. So I find that that's one of the challenges that we're faced with. Other resources like food and and warm places to live and and, and just the kinds of things that some of us might take for granted, are those missing in some instances? Yes, that is the case also. I feel that there are resources in our community, and it's just guiding people to make sure that they know where those resources are at. The work must be fulfilling. It's very fulfilling. I love it. I enjoy it, and I love when I have parents that approached me this year and said, can I come with you again because they helped me last year, it really warms my heart because I know how meaningful it is to them. And it's helpful to me because they know the children in that age group what they really like. And so it helps me when they are coming here shopping and they're choosing the gifts. And it makes them feel good, too, that they're giving back and helping our community. Debbie Ann, thank you very much. Thank you. It was nice talking to you. Have a Merry Christmas. You too. Thank you. Wasn't more than a couple of minutes later that Debbie Yan circled back to where I was standing and brought someone with her to be interviewed. This is Karen Snow, and she has had children in uh, the PACT program for uh, many, many years. We've known each other a long time, and Karen is here helping today to pack the bags um, for the children in our classrooms. Hello. Hi. Your last name is Snow? Yes. This has been your month. (laughs) Not really. (laughs) Well, Karen, thank you. Tell me a little bit about exactly what you're doing today. Who are you choosing gifts for? I'm choosing gifts for a family at, I'm not even sure where from. I don't know the family, but I'm helping collect their gifts for them. And why do you do this? Because it's a good thing to do, to help out, volunteer, give back to the community as much as you can. You're an adult. Yes. 
How does it feel to come into a world full of toys and start looking at things and picking things up and choosing things? <laughs> it actually brings you back to your childhood, like, oh, my God, look at that. I need that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you'd like to play, too? I do sometimes with my kids. <laughs> How many children do you have? I have two at home. And uh, are they still of an age where toys are going to be fun for them? Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. What are their ages? One is six, the other one is four. Uh Oh, so this is going to be a big Christmas for them, too. Yes, it is. So with children six and four at home, you would have a pretty keen understanding of what it means to have toys on Christmas and what it would mean to not to. Right. And that is the best time in the world for kids that age. Well, Karen, thank you for speaking to me. I've enjoyed the opportunity to get to know you for a moment and uh, enjoy Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Fine. May I speak to you for a second? Sure. Okay. We are still here at Toy Central, continuing this Toys for Tots wrap-up show today, and people are busy t- picking toys. Steve Watterson said I should talk to you for a moment. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. And Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. I'm Dennis Webster. Who are you? Jessica Ricker from Jess- Individualized Services. Jessica, nice to see you. I think see you again. Individualized Services, part of the Resource Center. Yes. So you've got... Uh, I won't even say what toys you have in your hand because I don't want to reveal anything to anybody. But uh, Sports toys. Mm-hmm. So who are you picking for? We are volunteering for the Resource Center, just sorting toys and getting out to volunteer in the community. Oh, so you're sorting toys. Yes, we are. Setting it up so others can come and shop for these. Right. Why do you do this? It gets people from the Resource Center out and about in the community, shows them different volunteer opportunities rather than just going to a library give some different fun things to do. So you've brought volunteers with you? Yes, I did. You are consumers at TRC? Yes. Ah, and you want to introduce one to me now? Yes. This is Nancy Smith. Nancy has been volunteering. Somehow at this particular moment, a toy got loose of someone's hand or off a stack or something and ricocheted right into the area where we were doing the interview. The toys are flying across the room as we speak here, folks. <laughs> Yes, Nancy, this is the first year Nancy has ever volunteered for Toys for Tots. So far, she's loving it and trying to find the areas where the toys go. Hi, Nancy. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm going to say Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Now, are you having fun here today? Yes. What's it like to come in and and see all these toys all over the place? Well, because I want to see people come in and leave off toys yes and then others are picking them up and my friend jessica you're she helping her take me out on friday and i love her so much you're gonna make her cry i think here now <laughs> <laughs> big christmas tears coming oh here. yes nancy's a good person nancy and i've been working together for a while and we've just gained a good friendship <laughs> It's okay, Nancy. I've got to tell you, folks, it's such an exciting place to be. A toy, when I began the interview a moment ago, there were toys flying in from one direction. Now there's a whole stack of dolls that looks like it's about to go go down here. This is, this is so fun. I'm speaking, holding the microphone with one hand, trying to balance dolls with another What you couldn't see on the radio was this large stack of dolls and someone jostled it or took one and the rest of it began to implode on itself and the three or four of us who were standing around began to try and rescue it as quickly as we could. That could have been a scene from a movie. (laughs) That was close. That was close. You know, Dennis, one thing about Nancy is he is an excellent dancer. We have uh, monthly dances down at the Resource Center, and Nancy is out there cutting a rug and putting on the moves. And I, if I could dance like Nancy could, I would be very happy. You don't give lessons, do you? Yes. Oh, you do? Maybe Steve Watterson and I should sign up sometime because I don't dance particularly well either. Her favorite thing to do is to listen to the music in the car. How loud do you put it? 18. Oh, I, I, I could wish it was 18. Last time I seen it, it was 38. Well, I thought the scale ended at 20, so that's double what I thought it could yes, be. Yes, yes. Well, have a wonderful time, and I've enjoyed speaking with you in this now somewhat chaotic environment, but joyful here at Toy Central for Toys for Tots. Merry Christmas to both of you.
Debbie Ann is back. Debbie, I'll let you do the introduction. This is going to be exciting. This is. This is a good friend of ours and one of our parents that love school, and her name is Rosa. Hi, Hello. Rosa. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Fine. What are you doing here today? What's got you so excited? Well, first, I have Miss Debbie. She's my favorite teacher, and just come here helping out the community and making you know kids Christmas wonderful. Just all about making somebody else happy. And, so you are know. you picking toys today? Yes, yes, I am. Who I'm are you picking out. for? I mean, don't tell me specifically. Well, I don't know the families. I'm just going with the flow, you know, having helping out with everybody else, kids. And getting some nice toys yes, for kids? Yes, definitely nice kids. Nice you, toy for everybody. You've done this before? No, this is the first time. Oh, really? Yes, yes. So, first time. What is it like to walk into this, like, wonderland of toys? Santa Claus shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being, being an elf. I, like, I feel like being, like, a Santa helper. Like. And there's everything here. Yes, everything. I'm like, wow, I, I would be a kid now. <laughs> <laughs> do you have children of your own? Yes, I do. I have three. What are their ages? 13, 14. In eight. No, nine. He turned nine yesterday. So this is a, an exciting Christmas time for them, too? Yes, it is, especially for Mommy, because Mommy was struggling a little bit. And oh. So, yeah, it's, it was beautiful. It's good. Well, best of luck to you this thank holiday you. time, thank and thank you for coming to volunteer. For, oh, you're did, welcome. Did you say, because I know you wanted to be on, did we get to every topic you wanted to cover? Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I found things. I, I was like, wow, this is like, I would never ever got on my own, so that was nice for the community to do that for us. It is. Isn't it wonderful? And I don't know that I said thank you so much for the people that make this happen for the families in our community because this is wonderful. And we just are so excited and happy that so many children are going to have a nice Christmas because of all the generous people here in Jamestown. Amen to that. So thank Thank you. you. Well, thank you both again very much. Thank you. I'm not sure if this radio show that we have done today has captured the chaotic joy. (laughs) Listen to the coordinator's giggle here. The chaotic joy of the uh, Toys for Tots program when it reaches this climax. But I hope that it has. And sincere thanks to uh, Heather Brown and Terry Johnson for taking this on again. It is an enormous task, a huge thing to do at a time of year when everybody's busy. So, Heather, thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Terry, thank you. Thank you very much, Dennis. And, you know, for the thousands of young people who will benefit from this collective drive this year, uh, thanks on their behalf also. Well, thank you. It's good to see uh, this community pull together like this, and we really appreciate it. Absolutely. I can't say reiterate that enough. As you see everybody coming together and, and working together, it's really a good community effort. Well, you know, there are Christmas traditions, and I, I guess doing this show is one of them because we've probably done it 17 years, Steve. We've been doing it a long time. It's, uh, I know it's one of your favorite shows to do, so thank you for all the support that you and the Media One stations have given us in terms of uh, getting the word out and encouraging people to donate toys because, as uh, Heather and Terry said, it's, it takes a whole community to make this work. And, uh, and a success, and uh, we do it every year. Well, many hands, many hands have been involved. So maybe at the conclusion, Steve, we should say thank you to all who have contributed toys, contributed money, contributed facility like this, uh, Mike Roberts and the folks here at Allied Alarm, and everyone who's been otherwise involved in making this program successful again this year. Absolutely, and uh, you know, on behalf of the Resource Center, we thank everybody out there for all the support that they give us throughout the year. And a happy holidays and a happy new year. One more thing to say. Thank you for sharing the vision this Christmas.